Fun, this is Let's Chess and today we'll do a bit on oppositions. We know that pawn on 4th rank and below opposition matters. And if we see in this position white's pawn is below the 4th rank but there is a square gap between the king and the pawn. Why is the square gap so important you may ask? When black gains the opposition to white and white is pushed to move, that pawn gap is gonna come very handy because when the pawn can just move a square above and white gains the opposition and black has to move. In this position, if white plays d4 at first instead of d3, well, black gets the opposition by playing d7 which won't be really good for white. So white decides to just play into d6, into e8, and then d4, leaving one square gap between the king and the pawn. Over here, another move was king to e6, into d8, d4, king to e8, d5, king to d8, and king d6. It's a straight win from here. King moves to e8 and white enters one of the white's key squares by promoting the pawn. Which is c7. We know that if pawn comes to the 7th rank with a check, that's usually a draw. But not in this position because the queening square is already guarded by the white king. Thank you so much for watching.